<clears throat> All right, shalom, shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS Raleigh, GMS North Carolina camp. Back to know the Lord's will and edify and lesson. Before we go any further, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rokar Kwadash. Double honors the Apostle and those are great millstone for teaching us. Then we're saying truth according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings so reflect the nation of Israel. Uh, today's lesson is going to be uh, back to the basics, you know, uh, fear the Lord. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get uh, right into it. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, chapter 1, verse 8. It says, There is one wise and greatly to be feared, the Lord sitting upon his throne. That's why I said there is one wise and greatly to be feared. <clears throat> the only um, entity that we should be fearing is, you know, the Heavenly Father. You know, in the order that he set up, you know, as he has set up Yahweh Shai, you know, to be his right hand man. So you got to reverence the son as you reverence the father, you know, and that's how you show the heavenly father that you uh, fear him because Yahweh Shai is his representative. So we got to fear Yahweh by Shem Shai, you see, and, and, and not anyone else, right? The Lord is working. In the earth, we've been given a job to do. You see, we've been given a job to do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, and we have to continue to do that job, no matter <coughs> uh, what opposition, you know, may be presented before us. You know, we can't fear outside forces. We gotta fear Yahweh Shema Shai and trust in His plan. You see, the the plan of salvation that He has to deliver and to save. His people. Uh, read again, bro. <clears throat> it's a book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 8. It says, There is one wise and greatly to be feared. Yahweh Barashim Yahweh sitting upon his throne. That's right. The Lord is sitting upon his throne. He, you know, the, the Lord is sitting upon a throne in the heavens. You know, he has a great, you know, kingdom that he is ruling over. You know, and he's in the heavens. He has a, you know, a much superior kingdom <coughs> than anything down here upon the earth. And so much that he's able to um, work on the minds of men. And that shows you whose government, you know, the earth is really being ran under. Like the authority that Yahweh Bashim Shai has, because that's the job as the government, you know, as being ran. And the spiritual demon Satan you know, has a credence over this age of wickedness now. But best believe, you know, Yahweh Shai is coming for the crown, you know, to, to set up his order and his dominion down here upon the earth. And that's why, you know, we're coming into the orders of the Lord. We're being obedient to the Lord because we know at the end of the day, it's Yahweh Shema Shai that's going to be sitting on, you know, uh, that that's going to have, to say so on the earth here in the near future. And he has to say so now. Nothing is out of his control, you see. We're, but we're not going to bow the knee to man. You see, uh, so um, get the next precept, bro. Uh, <clears throat> this is Jer Jeremiah 5 and 22. It says, Fear ye not me, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Will ye not tremble at my presence? Yeah, and that's a question. Like you know, now you go back. You know, that's a question there. You know, you you don't fear the Lord. You don't fear, you know, the Yahweh Shemal Shai that has all this authority in the earth. You know, we not tremble at His presence. The presence of the Lord, or His servants, the prophets, going out there in the highways and the hedges. Before the judgment comes, that's another way. You know, you you'll meet the presence of the Lord, meet His power. Because the Lord is a God that hides Himself, and when He when He when He pop out and show Jake, you know His authority in the earth, His power, then Jake is gonna want to fear. You know the scripture say they shall seek Me early, but they shall not find Me because it's gonna be too late. You see, it's gonna be too late for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, read it again, bro. Uh, this is Jeremiah five and twenty-two. 
Um, it's Jeremiah 5 and 22. It says, Fear ye not me, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. Will ye, will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree mm -hmm. that it cannot pass it? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Yeah. Though they. So like, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, the Lord has said, you know, you know, you have this old saying, you know, who can conquer the ocean? You know, who can conquer the sea? Well, the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father has conquered the ocean. He conquered the sea. And so, you know, that body of water, you know, <coughs> water, <laughs> you know, the ocean shows no mercy to anyone. It swall swallows up ships, right? The creatures that are in the ocean, right or sinking these naval it has the ability to sink naval ships and all, all these things bro like the the creatures that's in the sea and in in the ocean itself you see has been you know put in in its place and though it looks like the ocean is going to prevail as it's is it, it roars and it tosses it, it you know it's almost like the ocean is trying to rebel against the boundaries as they keep you know going you know, more and more and more, you know, as the the constant, the waves are constantly flowing in the ocean, you see, but, but there's nothing they can do, though they toss, though they, though they roar, you know, there, there's nothing they can do against, you know, uh, Yahweh by Shema Shai and the order that he set up, you got it, bro. It says, <clears throat> yet can they not prevail, though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. Yeah, that's right. They can't pass over. There's nothing they can do. <coughs> and the same thing with you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, you're 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 rebelling against the Lord to uh, no travail. Like it's not going to really lead to anything. You know, it's not going to lead to your uh, your benefit. You know, <coughs> you got that. It's Hebrews ten and thirty one. It says, "It is a beautiful thing." To fall into the hands of the living power. That's right, and that's what we're constantly warning our people about. You know, so it, it it'd be a wise thing for you to fear the Lord. It's a wise thing for you to be obedient, because no matter how much uh, rebellion you do, it's not going to prosper you anything. All it's going to do is for you to fall into the Lord's hands, right? And it's a fearful thing to fall into Yah by Shemoshai's hands. And this is what we're constantly giving you warning about. You know, isn't isn't it just better for you to obey, you know, and actually hearken, you know, than for, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shai to stretch forth his hand and to jack you up? No, but Jake really don't uh, consider these things, you know, and, and especially they of the circumcision <laughs> who are, you know, breaking down the scriptures wrong, leading our people astray. The Heavenly Father is an austere man. He, he He's one to be feared. You know, he's not one to be toiled with. The The Lord is not a, a, as average men, you know. And when he uh, uh, decides to judge you for all your evil and wickedness that, you're gonna, that you have been doing, it's going to be a fearful thing. You see? You got anything else up? This is, uh, I get this, this Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Yeah, you, you can break it down, bro. <coughs> uh, yeah, so that, the, the Heavenly Father is making a statement here. He's letting you know that, hey, He's the one that kills, he makes a lie, right? He, he decides that. He says he wounds and he heals. He can put you in a critical situation. You know, to have you, you know, have you, have you just so happen to be in a car accident where you don't, you don't, you don't die, but you're, you're still having to live and suffer with those pains, right? Constantly thinking about what happened to you. It says, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hands, right? Because when the Lord is, executes their judgment, you're not going to be able to escape it. 
you know, and he's gonna he's gonna make you feel every bit of it. Like you know, this that's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power because he controls all things. You know. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, you know, we just want to get into a lesson. You know, why you should fear the Lord and. You know, there's one wise and greatly to be feared. And, you know, we just went to a few examples on why you should fear Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, Lord is looking at FI through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, until next time, we just want to say Shalom.